This shoe might actually be one of the nicest pair of Air Jordan 1s in my entire collection. Today I'm going to be giving you guys an in-depth look at the Air Jordan 1 OG High Florida Gators. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Now before we get started breaking down all the styles, cuts, and materials on this amazing shoe, we gotta talk about the history first. Back in 1985, the Air Jordan 1 hit the streets and definitely caught a lot of people's attention during that time. Throughout the years, we have seen a ton of different styles, cuts, and colorways when it comes to the Air Jordan 1s. And back in 2020, Jordan Brand decided to give their college schools the Air Jordan 1. Now before this in the 2018-19 season, we saw that the Florida Gators had announced that they were officially a Jordan Brand school, and they debuted that announcement with the Air Jordan 4 Florida Gators. Gators. Following that announcement, the next year we saw the Air Jordan 1, then the Air Jordan 5, then the Air Jordan 6, and then the one low. So we're currently in 2024 now, and I'm interested to see if you guys know which shoe is coming out this year for the college PEs. Let me know down below in the comment section what number you think it is. I've been saying Air Jordan 7s all year long last year, but once I found out the actual number that it is, I can tell you right now, I was wrong. But besides all that, shout out to my homies over at Untied for helping me track down this pair. Now let's go ahead and take it to the studio so we can break down this shoe. So here we have it, the Air Jordan 1 High OG Florida Gators PE. Now, I got these a while ago, and for some reason, I thought I filmed the video, but clearly I didn't, so I was like, I gotta get this out. We're gonna start from the outsole, work our way up, compare the materials, all the different things. I have the low top right here, so we'll compare these as well. I did do a review for those already, so you guys can watch that after the video. Looking at the outsole right here, standard, classic, retro, OG style, Air Jordan 1 outsole, all orange right here, no translucent, no nothing, just straight pure orange. And then you got a pure white on the midsole and a pure white stitch as well. Now going to the upper, I feel like this is the most fitting shoe, like the materials, the most fitting materials for this shoe. They did the same exact materials, everything identical for the college pack, all the Jordan 1s but this is Florida Gators. So you got your Gator, your Croc print, whatever you wanna call it. You got that right here on the side around the toe. And then it's like got that little suede vibe to it. You can see the little skadoosh right there on front. And then the same thing right here on the side around the eye stay area. And then on the top around the collar, that's all gonna be in your Florida Gators, that royal blue. Now, another blue accent right here. You got the Jordan Wings logo right here on the side of the heel, and that's gonna be in the all blue as well. When it comes to the other materials, you got like a Stingray-like material, all right here on the toe, on the vamp, and then on the back end of the shoe around the heel, and on the top around the collar, you have that same orange material and the same orange right here on the swoosh on the side of the foot, and that's gonna be the same thing on the inside of the foot as well. Now, just behind that, you have a distressed leather, similar to the Air Jordan 6s, but the sixes came after the ones. I like how they take different elements of different sneakers and incorporate it in different PEs, but it all aligns together and they have it as its own little thing. So it's dope when you kind of get the whole set with the different numbers and everything and put it all together. So you guys see with the photos and kind of what I'm talking about as we're going. But to me, I like how they do that when it comes to the design process and creating these PEs for the school. Instead of just being all over the place with the materials and everything like that, you get what I'm saying? Now these come standard with a pair of all royal blue wax laces you got your blue mesh and on the right foot you have a blue tab with the orange Nike Air branding and then on the left foot you have a blue tab with the Florida Gators logo. So essentially that's kind of like your only branding when it comes to Florida Gators or the school branding around the entire part of the shoe on the exterior area at least that somebody could see. Now looking at the sock liner and everything on here you got all royal blue with the orange Nike Air on the right foot and then on the left foot right here you have the Florida Gators logo with the all royal blue sock liners. Now I don't have the entire Air Jordan 1 set but I can say there are a few, I got a couple pairs, few pairs in my collection. I would like to get some more. I don't know, I feel like I got the ones I really want the most. Maybe Georgetown. But one shoe I definitely am a fan of, the low tops. Oh my gosh. <laughs> these things are clean, bro. Okay, so when I first got these, I was rocking these ASAP. I think like, when, uh, I don't know, it was like the summertime or something when I got these, but fire shoe, as you guys can see, similarities, obviously colors are similar. Color blocking is different. You got more of a Chicago style color blocking. I love how they added the satin with the diamond stitch right here on the sock liner. 
dope element to the shoe. And then they took that distressed leather, like we were talking about on the side panel, they actually added that to the majority part of the sneaker. And then you have a premium leather right here on the side panels and on the vamp of the sneaker compared to your Stingray, but they have the Stingray, same thing right here, orange swoosh, orange swoosh, similarities, the tab is a different color, this one's blue and orange, and this one's actually orange and white. But again, some similarities. And then on the sock liner, instead of this one being blue on the low top, similar to the high tops, this one's actually orange with the Florida Gators on there. I think they make the Gators logo a little bit bigger as well, kind of emphasizing that logo. But let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Do you guys like the low tops more or do you guys like the high tops more? Me personally, I like the low tops more. Maybe it's because I'm not a fan of orange. So I think the subtle hits of orange, it's cool. You know, I can deal with it. This is a lot more vibrant but it looks good don't get me wrong florida gators colors is dope oregon state though that's a whole nother topic so as of right now you have multiple options when it comes to florida gators they weren't one of the original jordan brand schools but there have been multiple shoes that have come out over the years like we've seen earlier in the video the ones the fours the fives the sixes the you know what i'm saying there's multiple options so i'm interested to see you know what they do with this year's model that they're doing the Air Jordan, whoop, ah, I can't tell you guys just yet. But I'm telling you guys right now, it's gonna be a dope model this year and I'm excited to add them to my collection and also show you guys here on the channel. So like I do all the time, if you guys wanna see any samples or PEs or rare sneakers or anything like that, make sure you guys click at the end of this video. I have a full playlist dedicated and curated to you know all the crazy sneakers and exclusive stuff around the world. That way you guys can see different gems from my collection or stuff that I've seen over the years or whatever it may be and learn more about samples and PEs. So if you guys enjoy this and you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, bruh. We got another video coming out very, very soon. I'll see y'all on another one. I'm out. I would never let you down. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna learn more, I have a ton on the inside when it comes to my Sneakerhead Academy. It's an eight-week program that breaks down everything when it comes to the ins and outs of the shoe game, learning the market and how to grow and scale your collection at the same time, or turn it into a hustle and getting a bunch of money if you'd like to do that as well. And if you want to invest in the real estate, I have all the tips and tricks in live meetups where we do monthly meetups and everybody jumps in and we go over a call and we talk about different goals and aspirations that we have and how we can help each other get there. So if that's something that you're interested in, hit the link down below, get signed up. I would love to see you on the inside. It's the holidays right now, so we got a special going as well. All right, you guys, I'm out. Yo, 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 you thought we was gonna make it all the way to the end of the video and I wasn't gonna show you guys the shoe. I know we've been talking about it and I'm sure some of you guys have seen it already, but the Florida Gators new model is the Air Jordan 23. These things are beautiful. I'm waiting to get my hands on them and I'm telling you right now, I'm not sure if you have seen these on the internet just yet, but either way, you will soon. And uh, this thing is amazing. Let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section. Personally, I love Air Jordan 23s and I still need to film my 23 review on the Oklahomas. So stay tuned for that. All right, you guys, I'm out. Plus, I like to make what I'm aware today. One of those. I would never let you down. It's in my DNA. The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I was made for it. It's in the DNA. <laughs>